Assalamu alaikum. I am Tuba and I am Fatima. We are from Great Six One and we welcome you to our journey on the scientific research project. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. What happened? I had a little bit of knee pain. Today we are going to discuss about bone and skin issues. Can somebody give me an example of how they will affect someone's daily life? Yes. My grandmother has joint issues and she struggles to do the daily chores that she used to do. Actually, I have a very sensitive skin to UV rays. I get uh, I can't lay outside for too long because I get sunburns very easily. I also have a friend who the doctor recommended to use sunscreen but she can't afford it because her father lost his job. Imagine a world where everyone thrives, overcoming obstacles like bone and skin issues that impact daily lives in our community and around the globe. Inspired by the possibility and positive change, we've embarked on a journey to discover natural and affordable solutions, aligning with the transformative vision of Qatar 2030. Yes. And not use very high concentration of the camel fat. Make it more diluted. For like for example, for laborers, you have a lot of laborers here in Qatar apply to apply on their skin. Same dosage is okay because it's also edible. Because I think it's edible for things. It's easy. It's easy to get a scientific proof if you. Uh, if you like, uh, make uh, for example, all the ingredients are edible. It will be approved. Today we are going to make camel fat oil. Safety is important, so now we're going to collect the oil and we're going to use the towel to clean. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Today we're going to be making soap. These two jars have pure 100% pure camel hump oil. I'm also going to add some fresh shea butter. And since measurements are very important, we're gonna, we have a scale right here which we're going to use to measure. First, we're going to be using water, 199 grams. We're going to be replacing coconut oil with camel hump oil, 950 grams. We have made our own lye, but we can also use the store-bought one, 133 grams. And here we also have a little bit of chia butter, only 50 grams. Would you be interested to use a uh, camel hump oil? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yes, it will be uh, since this product is sustainable, and uh, I believe yes, it will be helpful to the workers. And since they are working uh, in the sun, it will, it will help them uh, not only as a sustainable product, since it is locally locally produced, it will be economical and it is better for the economy of Qatar. So yes, we would have such such products for our workers. And also, uh, our workers can't uh, afford to have the high-end brands or uh, products. Of. Uh, sustainability, but it can have a good effect on the environment. 
How do you think people could uh, envision it since it's super sustainable? It'd be great, and actually, I'll discuss about it with Hinat Salma Farm that we because we use a lot of um, essential oils. In addition to that, uh, it is an effective, safe, and a sustainable option for the patients with an underlying medical condition. Uh, being a pharmacist, we do play a crucial role in uh, ensuring the safe and effective use of natural products by staying informed, educating the community, collaborating. And we look forward to research more about it. Thank you for supporting our project.